Well, I'm here with my friend Chelsea because she does something. She has a technique of something that I've wanted to do for a while as part of my healthy garden lifestyle as we go into the second half of the year. Can you believe it's already July? My mind's blown. <laughs> I know. I, it's so I'm doing a number of different things, some of which I've already shared with you. But one of them I'm, I'm trying to do is drink less in the evenings, <laughs> um, less alcohol in the evenings, and really hydrate myself. Yeah. Because how much time just in the course of today have we spent just amongst ourselves talking on the, about the importance of hydration? A long time. <laughs> yeah. and if over you, and over. Over and over. And if you have trouble just drinking large quantities of water, then this is a good substitute for it. It's very fresh. It's it's lovely. And, I, and there's a certain technique that you can use where you use things from your own garden or not. Okay, so Chelsea has her own favorite blends and everything, and she's going to show us how you can make it today in, I think of it as diffused teas, but in a French press coffee maker. So take it away, Chelsea. Awesome, awesome. So all of these are considered to be loose leaf teas. So there's a variety of uh, caffeine free, we've got green tea, black tea, white tea, so you could get all sorts of different kinds of teas in here. Oh my gosh, look at these titles. Lavender Creme Brulee. Oh my word. <laughs> Honeysuckle Blossom. Um, bee Pollen. Yes, the names and the fragrance and also just the appearance of these blends. They're just yeah. so beautiful. Yeah, they really are. They're just such a way to really treat yourself or treat a friend and what or is a family the, member. What is this one? Mango Paradise. Oh my word, <laughs> okay. And that, wait, you were telling me earlier one of them was your favorite. Yes, yeah, so my favorite personally is this Lavender Sage Lemonade. It's herbaceous, citrusy, floral, caffeine-free herbal. And um, it's got, what does it have in here? Oh, this is a just something that tells you what it would be good with. So it says, wonderful blended with tropical black, so tropical black tea served with honey and fresh squeezed lemon. Mm. And so this one has lemon myrtle, lemon grass, lavender, lemon peel, sage, licorice root, rose hips, and calendula. Okay. So you could theoretically make this or some version of this from stuff in your own garden. I probably have about a third of those ingredients, but probably you could do any kind of of recipe for it that you like if you have lots of dried herbs or you might have some and then you can get some from a friend now these you said your husband gifted these to you so where did he get these yes so he got this at i think it's called old barrel tea okay um and he got this on a trip to new mexico yeah yeah, okay, so yeah, so we were both lovers of New Mexico, which is a good place to look for some of these kinds of teas. You could probably buy them online, but as we always say, buy local because there are, I've got a, in fact, Stuart, we might check up at the spice shop. There's that wonderful spice oh, yeah. shop on Western. I wonder if they, do you know if they sell herbal teas? I'm sure they would. I'm sure they would. And it, even if it's not labeled as tea, I'm sure you could use it in an infusion or in tea, yeah. So in addition to wanting to consume this for myself, I love the idea also, a lot of times when somebody is sick mm -hmm. or they've had a really bad diagnosis or they're just going through a hard time, I like to put together comfort baskets. Absolutely. And in the yeah. past, I've just kind of put tea bags in there, but I think some of these herbal infusion teas would just be so much better. You could also think outside the box, I guess, and you could use ginger and citrus and all sorts of different things. So again, it's, it's a, a creative enterprise as well as a healthy one. So what do we do? Okay, so um, each one has maybe slightly different directions, but a lot of these are very similar. You take about a teaspoon or a tablespoon and this one we're doing the green tea, low caffeine, mango paradise okay. that you favor. And we're gonna put this in some pre-warmed water. And it's not boiling water you said, it's just pre-warmed. That's so, right, and they have instructions um, on whether you want um, boiled water or okay. what exact level of different heat. Different teas require different heat. 
Okay. Exactly. And I am probably making this more complicated than, <laughs> than it is because I've always, for some reason, been a little bit intimidated by French I press think a, coffee. A lot of people haven't used French press. So, I, okay, so sh I, I interrupted you, so go ahead. No, you are just fine. So at this point, it's already steeping. And so you could do this several different ways, but I'm gonna go ahead and insert the top here. And it's actually got a filtered plunger here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plunge it down. Okay. So you can see it's already started to infuse by the color here. And I'm, I really like the look of the leaves when you plunge it back up. Yeah. Oh, that is, yes. <laughs> that is very uh, cathartic. It's like watching an aquarium. Isn't it gorgeous? And it's very meditative while you wait. So this one you're supposed to wait for four minutes. So you plunge it once, you bring it back up. Yes. And, and, you, and then you wait. Okay. Yes. When your time is ready, you go ahead and plunge it back down. Okay. And so we're in the heat of summer. So what I like to do is I like to, isn't this a beautiful carafe? Okay, let's, got? let's, we've got to, we've got to share this tip. So <laughs> I was at Target the other day and Chelsea and I were saying that we don't like to go in there too often because there's just too many things to tempt you and you don't always need those things. Yes. But I was in Target for the first time in forever and look at this darling mm. wicker carafe set. So you've got these, this little wicker, sorry Stuart, right, mm -hmm. uh, glass holder so you can still put this in the dishwasher and it came with a carafe. These were sold in sets of two and I think they were three or five dollars for a set of two and then you could buy the carafe separately. So ideally I would have gotten a whole bunch of these glasses but I had some very similar to this that okay. I, I got on sale at Terrain nice. which were a lot more expensive. Um, but so now I can just kind of mix and match them. But I love this set. And as I'm thinking about late summer entertaining and July entertaining and what a great gift this would be if you, you know, wanted to do a cool season version of a comfort basket. OK, so we've got our carafe and then what? Yes. And so let's say we've already steeped this for four minutes. It's probably already got quite enough flavor in there. But now we're going to go ahead and pour it ceremoniously into this beautiful carafe with ice in it. I love the way you say ceremoniously because I think in the late afternoon and you know we think of afternoon tea as being hot tea but this is a wonderful thing and a wonderful way to reset. Yes. At the end of the day if you're if your kids are coming back from school or they're coming back from camp and you, everybody just needs to sit before dinner or in the late afternoon when it's very hot outside and just kind of recompose ourselves. Yes. This, this is wonderful. And there is a ceremonial quality to it. Okay, so, so now what would you serve this with and how, how, how do you consume it? Oh goodness, so I really just like uh, drinking mine usually when I come in from the garden when it's really hot during the summer. So I'll go ahead and pour myself a glass and if I'm feeling actually I'll go ahead and pour you yes a glass please do please yes. do and just for something a little extra special I would maybe dress oh. it up with maybe some fresh herbs from the garden yes yes so I've got a little bit of lemon balm here from my mystery Okay, how dear is this? This just turns something that is so easy and so common into something that's really extra special. Oh, and in addition, it just, it smells so lovely. Oh gosh. Cheers to summer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and this hasn't even steeped for very long at all. It it instantly changes it. Okay, so yes. so now, um, thank you, Chelsea, for demystifying something that is just so charmingly elegant, garden fresh, and absolutely delicious and and healthy. Thanks, darling. Thank you so much. And I gotta say, shout out to my mom because she's the one who gifted me this August tea. Shout out <laughs> to mom. Mom, next time we do this, we'll invite you. 
Well, if you've held on this long, I have a double take, a double fashion epilogue with my friend Chelsea. So I've actually done this same um, composition in an outfit of the day before. This is just one of these Indian tunic tops that I like so much. Got this online along with this tube skirt, which I also got online. Um, this is a necklace I got along with the earrings at Bloomington, or what, Bur what's it called? Burlington. Bur 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 Burlington. Burlington. Burlington Coat Factory. Thank you, it takes a village. Um, and this ring, I've showed it to you before. This is an amber ring that belonged to my mother-in-law. And my sandals uh, came from Nordstrom Rack. Take it away, Chelsea. Okay, uh, probably my favorite thing today is my kimono. This is Lauren Conrad. I got it from Kohl's years and years and years ago. It's perfect for just throwing over a casual summer outfit. Um, this I got on super sale at Old Navy just a couple days ago. I think it was like 10 or 15 bucks. Super cute. And these shorts are also on sale at Old Navy for about 10 bucks. Um, this belt is American Eagle. I've had it. Oh gosh, for for a long, and a that's, long time, 10 years. <laughs> yeah, well, it's adorable, and I love your necklace. Oh, thank you so much. So this was a gift from my husband. It's a succulent with, I'm afraid I don't remember what stone that is, um, but it's custom, custom made from an artist, a silver artist. Her name is on Instagram is Ashley Going Silver. She's super talented, so check out her stuff if you get a chance. It's beautiful. Yes, and my shoes are really comfy shoes. I have a painful foot condition, so I wear nice and cozy shoes all the time. These are Teva platforms, I believe. You know, I had a blowout on the last pair of Tevas that I had. They're great to hike in, actually, and I yeah. need to get another pair. So there you go. There is your double mint gum <laughs> fashion epilogue for today.